Greetings from the old lands far, far away from Jumeria, my friends. In this video, which is prepared to mislead those who think that the only true barbarian is wandering only within the borders of Jumeria, we introduce you another barbarian who swung the sword in the territory of Charki. I've never prayed you before. I have no tongue for it. No one, not even you, will remember if we were good men or bad. Conan the Barbarian was created in 1931 by Robert E. Howard. Howard was written about two dozen Chimerian Conan episodes in four years. This rule breaking barbarian so turned into a cult character. In the 1950s, years after Howard's tragic suicide in 1936, all of Connor's stories were published in the books. In fact, it was written to John Weaver that brought Conan his real fame, especially in 1960s thanks to Frank Frazetta's fantastic cover paintings and Nyberg's fascinating stories, the adventures of our headstrong barbarian friend Conan become popular all around the world. By 1970, top of the Marvel's elder team Stanley and Roy Thomas decided to publish Conan as a massive comic book series. In this way, the first colorful Conan story met with the readers. Thanks to this decision, Conan became a rock star of the comic book arena. In fact, the success of the comic was not a surprise. This brave new anti-hero who stands out with his strong, ruthless, fearless and deceitful, he was transferred to the cinema in 1982. Conan the Barbarian was the most important step for Arnold Schwarzenegger took in the cinematic arena until then. In this way, he both demonstrated his physical skills and made preparations for his fortune to be launched with the Terminator in 1984. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm back. Schwarzenegger was so loud as Conan. For this reason, a sequel called Conan the Destroyer came in 1984. Unfortunately, this production, which succeeded in reflecting Conan's narration concept to the cinema in many ways, lost some altitude with the sequel. For this reason, we could not see a Conan movie with Schwarzenegger again in the cinema. Still, we had the chance to watch Schwarzenegger bring the character of Conan to life once again in the movie name of Red Sonja, another adaptation from the same narrative universe. I make it a rule never to take a woman unless she can beat me in a fair fight. In 2011, Conan the Barbarian, which was once again adapted to the cinema with the image of Jason Momoa, it could not find what he was looking for this time and he ran out of his chances for a while. Still, the video game market has never been completely indifferent to the Conan cult. Thanks to this, we had the chance to see many Conan adaptations and variations. Well, America was not the only country to adapt Conan the Barbarian in 1982. In the same year, Italian director Joe D'Amato brought another Conan variation to the screen with the movie Atto Les Vincible. Critically criticized by both viewers and critics, the film is considered as a remarkable Conan variation cult when with today. Well, when the calendars show us the year 1985, uh, you know the situation already. But we have seen productions beyond being Turkish Conan before. Thanks to the Carol One series created by the master illustrator Suat Yalas and the Tarkan series created by Sezgin Burak, we cannot say that Turkey too much away from this concept. Fire. Fire. 
This series, which found very important responses from the readers, also attracted great attention with their movie adaptations. The first Arkham movie, which was adapted to the cinema in 1969, and first Carola movie, which was shot in 1965, become an important series in a very short time. In the intervening time, cinema audiences in Turkey was already familiar with this genre. Of course, it's impossible for such a common adaptation to fail. Altar, directed by Ramsey Jartik, which is also the name of Carolan's father, and yeah, it's interesting detail. Anyway, it was not in history as the first and only official Turkish Conan adaptation. 1985 is also the release date of Red Sonja movie, which we saw Arnold Schwarzenegger as Conan for the last time. Let's go back to the main topic anyway. We never saw Said Said, who we watched as Conan and who was also one of the co-producers of movie in any other movie again. Well, such a loss. However, names such as Isan Gedik, Zafer Egin, Eshrev Kolchak and Nuri Alcho are featured in the movie, although the costumes and decorations seem cheap. The texture captured in Conan's movie adaptation was partially captured. The movie was shown on television frequently in the 90s. Today, it's often referred to as a lost legend that adorns collector's archives. Yes, there is no other excuse that we could not feature the movie itself in this video. Still, it was not easy to accept the altar at that time for viewers who had watched replicas like Beastmaster or Sword and Sorcerer. Ultimate Altar, although it received some attention for Turkish audiences, was not well accepted abroad as claimed. In fact, Altar claims to exceed mediocrity unlike most of the Turk exploitation samples of the period. We can say that it can fulfill this claim to a certain point, but the motivations of the characters are one of the most important disadvantages of the movie. Especially the quality of the dialogues and fantastic universe brought to the cinema are nothing short of precedence. Well, okay, last words last. Alter was trying to survive by fighting during the day and making love at night. I guess for this very, very reason. He didn't survive last long. Anyway, hail for Altar!